Alright, so like I promised in my last video, I'll be showing you even more Rogue Company leaks that most likely will make it into an upcoming update. And look, the reason why I'm even able to say that is because if you didn't know already, every single outfit that you're able to buy in the Rogue Company store right now, I already showcased four days before they were officially released. So yeah, I'm pretty confident that the outfits that I'm going to show you today will end up in Rogue Company store at some point in the future. And look, if you want to see even more League skins after you watch this video, I have two other videos showcasing in total 39 leaked outfits and camos. Yeah, that's not even a fucking joke. I did the masks. It's kind of fucking crazy. But hey, before we get down to business, if you don't mind, can you like the video, subscribe, and ring that bell because I'm your number one channel for all high quality row company content. All right, so let's get down to all the shit you came here to see. So look, as of the last update to come to Rogue Company, there is now a fully fleshed out store where you can buy outfits for your rogues, camos for your guns, and a whole load of other shit. But a key piece of information you should really know is that every week there will be a new set of outfits or items that you can buy, very similar to how Fortnite has their store system. Um, actually, it's exactly like how Fortnite has their store system. I mean, it's damn near identical. But hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm not complaining. So speaking of skins and such, let's get down to the new leaked skins I have to show you. So first up on our list, we have a absolutely badass skin for Anvil. Anyone else getting some like owl vibes? Is that just me? Am I bugging out? Am I just bugging or does he look like a fucking big ass owl? Am I tripping? I don't know. Now look, I'm not gonna lie, I probably have like four fucking minutes playing as Anvil, and I play Rogue Company a lot. Yeah, I don't I don't ever really touch him, uh, but best believe, if this skin comes out, I'm buying it ASAP, and I'm playing the living fuck out of Anvil. I fuck- Bro, look, I don't play him because he's kinda chunky, and I feel like I'm gonna get shot from like cross map because I'm big as shit taking up half the fucking screen. But bitch, I don't give a fuck, that skin is fire, and look, his LMG isn't even all that bad. <laughs> I'll take it on the chin. For, for the skin? Uh, yep, I'll play him. And up next, we got a dripped out Louis V all the way to the tippy toes Dima outfit. Now, don't tell me you didn't look at this skin and think to yourself for like two seconds. Damn, did Rogue Company really pull like, a, like, did they secure the bag on partnering with Louis Vuitton? Is that really what they, holy shit, wow, that's crazy. Dog, I'm telling you right now, if somebody dares to shoot at me when I got this much drip on, bro, do y'all know how much this mink coat cost? I'ma have to end his life right then and there, bro. <laughs> I'm not playing games. Um, anyways, up next, this time, Louis V is gonna have to take a step back because we got a glitch that is all gucci down. Okay, Glitch, I see you hacked into a couple bank accounts to afford that shit. What is that? What did I cost? Like, th probably 3.5 mil? Three yeah, 3.5 mil, right? Oh, you, oh, you got that shit from Party City, bitch? Oh, oh, um. But hey, if you want to know how to play Glitch, I made a whole ass video going in depth on all the ways you can use the character, especially in competitive play. Believe it or not, Glitch is actually a much more complex character than you think. So up next, we got a little Arctic Snow vibe kind of an outfit going on for Phantom. Now look, I'm telling you, if you just add a hood or a mask to the skin, automatically that shit goes up by like 85 nice skin points. I'm telling you right now, dog. I'm the creator of nice skin points, so I know what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, I even got a better idea. Just turn this skin into a snow trooper outfit from Star Wars. You know the cool ass dudes you see in Hoth in Empire Strikes Back? Yeah, um, but call it like, uh, Trooper Snow, uh, so you don't get sued by Disney for like a million bazillion dollars, you know? Just, I'm trying to help y'all out here. You know, Rogue Company, you guys should really be thanking me right about now, because I probably just made you guys about four billion dollars. Or, I just put you guys in some legal trouble. Either way, you're welcome. And up next, we have a skin for Chat. Now, fellas, I'm not gonna lie to you. This skin really isn't doing it for me. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Look, the skin that came for Chack in the Founders Pack is pretty fucking fire. Damn, did I just rhyme with that? F Yo, that happens to me so often when I'm doing this. Jesus Christ. Anyways, I don't really like this fucking skin. I'm just saying, I'm not taking the Chack skin that I have now. No, I'm not taking it off for this one. But to be honest, uh, it really only takes one of two things for me to automatically love a skin. Uh, so among my friends, we have a saying called a Mark skin. Um, my name being Mark, that we, we didn't just fucking pick a random ass name. <laughs> that's, 
that'd be a little fucking weird. Anyways, the only thing a skin needs for me to insta buy it is either a mask or a hood. Bro, you got one of those two things and you got me instantly. Bitch, yo, bro, company, you can have my whole routing number, my bank account number, everything you need. Oh, you, you need the three digits behind my credit card? <laughs> no problem, bitch. All right, all right. All jokes aside, what kind of skins do you guys want to see from Rogue Company coming up next? Because look, I'm trying to see some crazy ass skins like this in the game. And I know they could do it. These motherfuckers behind Rogue Company are talented. And still specifically referencing this picture, I could definitely see this being an outfit for Talon. I mean, come on, he got the little teched out Japanese inspired rice hat, and I know for a fact that you can see Talon's gravity gloves looking so fire on this dude. Come on, bro, this skin would be fucking flames. Could you imagine a katana on his back? Oh, bro, it's over, it's fucking over. And what if we see a skin like this for Glitch? Could you imagine this skin with Glitch's cool ass mask? Come on, bro. I'm, I'm literally just throwing out million dollar fucking ideas here. I'm, I'm, I'm just a fucking bank at this point. Point. My guy, could you imagine if Phantom had a skin like this in the game? What the fu- Bro, you oh my god. Now hold on, for this one you're really gonna have to envision this with me. Alright, could you imagine this terrifying, menacing ass skin for Chak? Now hear me out, picture this creepy motherfucker doing Chak's ability when he pounds his chest. My guy, if I see this motherfucker charging me, pounding his fucking chest, I'll probably shit myself. But, I'll also think, wow, this guy's about to look so cool while he fucking kills me. <laughs> that's great. Now that's all I got for you guys today, but don't click off just yet. Look, I know I joke around a lot saying I'll pay a shitload of money for skins in this game, but look, if y'all putting out skins like this, I'm gonna have to dip into my savings account. <laughs> Alright, look, honestly, the real reason why is because I genuinely care about this game and I want it to thrive. I've been playing this game for months and the people who are working day in and day out on this game, making it better and better every day, have 100% gained my support. Hands fucking down. Now, okay, okay, I'll finally shut the fuck up. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed those leaks and some of those concept arts that I showed you today. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell because I'm your number one channel for all high quality Rogue Company content.